Today we have the Connect version 2 for Windows. This is the new Xbox One version of the Connect. Let's take a look at it. Open up the box and see what we have. There's a bunch of system requirements. Let's see, you need Windows 8. Oh, 8.1. 64-bit processors, dual-core 2.66 gigahertz, or faster processor, 2 gig of RAM, DirectX 11, USB 3. Okay. A lot of stuff we don't have, but we're going to be brave and see what we have here. Some box they have it in. Okay. Ah. See what we have here. There's its beady little eyes. The connect. Nice long cable. trick me sometimes. Nothing in there. Another box of stuff. Okay. This appears to be a power brick. Bunch of stuff. Let's see. Oh, some connector they have there. This appears to be a power cable. Open this up. Ah, oh, USB cable. This appears to be the adapter box. Connect. Super speed USB. So my guess would be that you plug this baby in here. USB off the back, and then that plugs into your USB ports, and I guess this is, this is the power connector. Welcome to Connect for Windows version 2. The new Connect for Windows sensor gives developers the ability to create an unparalleled class of natural user applications with real vision real motion, and real voice technologies. Connect for Windows version 2 is more precise, more responsive, and more intuitive. The new sensor makes it possible for people everywhere to experience the power of Connect. The power of Connect. In classrooms, public spaces, retail environments, hospitals, and more. If you're a developer, you need to go to connectforwindows.com. If you're a consumer, you need some type of app. And there it is in a bunch of stuff I can't read, but I assume it's Chinese, Japanese, and other cheeses I don't know about. Wow. French, Spanish, 
And here's the book. Back a little bit. Warning, warning, warning. Lots of warnings. And basically it says, if you want a product guide, go, go to a website and get the product guide. What are you doing reading these things? Up they go. Just to give you a sense of scale, here's the original Xbox 360 version of Kinect. Here's the new one. Uh, the old one seems a little bit longer, but it's not quite as deep. Let me take the tape off this. differently than the first generation. It's basically an IR flood and then you have an IR sensor. The microphone array is down here. Um, on the original one, this is actually motorized and can tilt up and down 